Oh, 25. Missed. Missed. Great job there. Oh! Oh my god! One? That did... One of those hits did 13. Two, they do AP damage. So, which, you know, reduces your action points. And three, their area of effect. That hit three of my four guys. And in fact, one of them, uh, Hypotenuse, he took two AP damage, so he, he is now unconscious. This is a worrying turn of events, Nick. Are you still there? Nick. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear all that? Yeah. About the troll with his... Did you his, his hear me? No. Huh. Weird. Okay, but yeah, the troll with his giant... Mike Hagar-like fists. Yes. Of fury. His is all the right. fury. Okay, now... Now to summon now to summon some evil some more evil spirits because this place isn't horrible enough yet. Obviously. Hey pestilence, how you doing, buddy? Hmm. Now th those summon spots, do they summon specific story based? I think it's I think creatures? so. I think it de I think it sort of depends on the environment. Hmm. But because of the type of places you are you're in, most of the spirits are pretty nasty. Oh, he... No, he suffered AP damage. Okay, you run like hell. Hmm. Well, now you can't... Uh, you, you know, get on that ley line point. Now! Fire! Oh, only a 70% hit chance. There we go. Hmm. Now, we hit them. Oh, okay, now that he's out of cover, my robot has a good shot. Damn it. He's still got most of his hit points. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I've got two um, options that use two AP instead of one. Burst fire. Two attacks in one action that increase chance of critical uses five bullets. Full auto fire. Five attacks in one round that do half or normal damage, 15% to hit, uses 10 bullets. I'm gonna do burst fire. I think. Nice. Yeah, all right, 24 damage. Nice. Oh, he's just beating the shit out of that dude. Can't you do anything right, Patezel? Oh! Okay, oh, that guy is down. See that skull? Yeah. We've got like three turns to like resuscitate him now, or he's 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 done. And I don't know if we have any of the things you use to do that. Mm. You need these things called. Oh no. He, okay, I guess I do. Doc wagon basic trauma kit restores a teammate to life with twenty five percent of their total health. Okay. Oh, there's Dr. Holmes! Oh, nice. Yeah, Patezel's got, like, only... Still got, like, half his hit points left. Mana bolts. Man, this guy's tough. I wonder if I, if I take out the doctor, I wonder if if Patizzle will go down, will stop on his own. Also check, also check that out in the middle of the room. Yeah. That's not any medical equipment I've ever seen. Looks like a summoning circle. Yeah, some 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 sort of some th something occult, surrounded by candles, geometric symbols, There's little items on it too. Yeah, something. 
Things are getting even more disturbing here, I guess. Hmm. Okay, I can... Oh, maybe if I can blind Patezzle. Target is blinded and cannot see or attack targets. Lasts two reps. Alright, there, yeah. It does take two AP to cast, but... Oh, yeah, worth it if I can... If he can't attack for a few turns. There you go. Alright. Alright, Doctor. Oh, oh, that's right. I still have it set to the auto. All right. It looks like the, uh... I forgot what I was going to say. Ow. All right. Maximum. 4 AP. Yeah, that'd be kind of nicely ironic if we could kill him with the monstrosity summoned from the filth of his own lab. He's suiting. Oh! Oof. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's unconscious now. Because I kept doing that AP damage. Still awake enough to scream, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Not of the sort I need. I don't think I had any... I don't think I suffered any casualties in the first game. Not lethal ones, I don't think. Eh. True measure. Alrighty. Let's see what he does. Okay. Guys, guys, this does not look good if we cannot shoot an unconscious man. <laughs> Damn, he is tough. Yeah. All right. All right my toxic spirit. I'm gonna name him. His name is Sludgy from now on. I think. Oh, got him. Nice. Oh, and combat is not ended, so I guess now I guess we do, we'll have to take down Patizel as well. I'm doing AP damage to him, which is good. Right. Unfortunately, he's standing, like, right over the unconscious, bleeding-out body of my... Oh, I don't have the AP to reach him at any point. Sorry, Hypotenuse. It looks like, um... <clears throat> you've made your last run. Everybody, uh... Pour out a 40 of soy calf for him, in, for him everybody. <laughs> Maybe they have soy-based malt liquor as well I don't, in the future. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not even sure how soy-based caffeine works. It might not... It, I don't know if it's necessarily soy-based caffeine, if, if it's just like... It's, I'm guessing it's more along the... Well, it's like, it's like a soy coffee substitute that probably has caffeine just injected into it. There! There we go! Defeat Patezzle. Nice. Wait. Okay. Now... Here's, he's over here with the this, like, you know, medical crossover. So let's see if I click on if I can go to him. Alright! Doc Wagon Basic... Alright, we saved him! The last second. Doc Wagon Basic Trauma Kit. It comes out of your salary, you know. Those things aren't cheap. Oh, we can talk to him. He's, he's down, but he's mortally wounded, but... <clears throat> right. Holmes drops to the ground, the light in his eyes fading fast. 
but something keeps the shriveled husk of his soul stuck to this mortal coil for a few moments more. This is a place of broken things. I remake them. She... she asked me to remake her. He manages one more laugh, his glazed eyes rolling towards the workbench across the way. She was playing... both of us. Oh! One action point! Yeah, I've got enough karma that now I have three AP a turn. Then, with a final bloody whimper, the Emerald City Ripper breathes his last. Alright, let's examine this thing over here. Holmes's, Holmes's workbench falls somewhere between coroner's slab and medieval torture device. It is decorated in the many colors of death and littered with the instruments of that trade. To one side, there is a leather-bound journal stuffed with uneven pages. To the other is a port poxec, pocket secretary. Its small screen still glowing. Beneath the bench is a rolled sheaf of papers held closed with a tied length of surgical tubing. Investigate well, the those workspace. sound public. Investigate the workspace. The bench has clearly played host to numerous bodies over its lifetime. It includes limb restraints, as well as skeletal traction mechanisms. At this table, Holmes mm -hmm. likely dismembered bodies, or quite possibly put them back together. The tackiness of the blood suggests it has been used relatively recently. Skim the journal. <laughs> Leafing through the pages, you find few intelligible entries. Holmes may not have been a real doctor, but his handwriting certainly fits the stereotype. Stuffed in the last few pages is a copy of a disinterment order from a local cemetery, with the grave's occupant marked as Melinda Watts. Disinterment order. Hmm. You remember who, remember who Melinda Watts is? The name sounds familiar. Well, our friend is named Sam. Oh, Watts. oh, oh, the the sister. Um, no, the mother. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, because remember they mentioned his mother passed away under somewhat mysterious circumstances. Yeah. That like they looked, they were they were like um, it was like uh, recorded as a suicide, but it looked kind of suspicious. Someone has had her body dug up, apparently. Access the pocket secretary. Holmes is still logged in, granting you access to his currently loaded files. It's kind of actually interesting, the, the POCSEC in Shadowrun, it's kind, it kind of... It was kind of a decent rough approximation of a smartphone before they existed in real life. Which is kind of cool. Holmes is still logged in, granting you access to his permanently loaded files. Prominent among them is a, is a hospital report from a donor program. It lists the organs besides the names and vital statistics of the recipients. Your eye catches Sam Watts' name beside the entry for liver. Also on the list are the Ripper's other known victims, along with several others who may have shared in the same fate. Hmm. Hospital report from a donor. Yep. There's also a large sum of new yen, which you can easily be, easily be transferred to your company. Ooh, 4,500! Examine the rolled sheet of paper. Oh, he's, he's been smoking marijuana, I see. Unfurling the large sheet of paper, you discover a diagram of the human form, rendered to an impressive level of detail. It appears to be the blueprint for making Holmes' very own monster. Oh, excuse me. Is this, is this just the same thing? Or? 